Inflation hit in so many ways, whether it was food, gas, or rent, prices have gone up. That could be especially hard for organizations looking to help those in need during the holidays. Ryan Lusheen is in studio who looked into this. Ryan, how are food banks dealing with higher prices? Well, as you just said, inflation has hit everyone hard, including the organizations dedicated to helping those in need. As Thanksgiving is right around the corner, there could be more people in need than in previous years. From the start of the year to now, we've seen about an 11% increase in numbers of individuals who need our services. Because of inflation, food prices have been affecting everyone, including services like the Cherry Street Mission and the Islamic Food Bank. Last year, a case of eggs cost Cherry Street Ministries $22, but this year... A case yeah. of eggs is $47, and so that's a, over a 100% increase in the cost just to provide breakfast here at the mission. The rise in prices may have caused stress for people, but for people who want to help those who can't afford a warm meal, it's worth the expense. There has been an increased need. 211 has had increased calls for requests for food boxes. We, um, we have 100 food boxes to give away through another program. We must have at least seven, eight pallets back there. Between all the programs that we are running this year for Thanksgiving, we are providing 400 food packages. Because everyone knows what people are going through. People need warm food and support through the holiday season. And groups like the Islamic Food Bank see that the worries of food prices motivates the community to help others. We're seeing a lot more in-kind donations from individuals as well. They'll, you know, maybe purchase too many cans of tomato paste at the grocery store and they'll bring the rest over onto us because they know there are folks who can use them here. Now, Cherry Street Mission Ministries, Islamic Food Bank and the United Way of Greater Toledo are still accepting donations. You can reach out to them by going to our website, WTOL.com. Reporting in studio, Brian Lusheen, WTOL 11.